Gannon Burr had some serious, serious putting struggles. That was, that was, uh, that was crazy. That was, that was the worst putting performance I've ever seen him have in a round. I mean, missing, yeah. not just missing, you know, 30 to 35 footers, but missing like 15 to 20 footers of where you're just like, was he also maybe thinking like, all right, well, I'm not going to win this tournament next tournament's a major. I don't know. It was, it was a weird thing to see. It was very unusual. I don't know. I, I, I saw a lot of people whining about the baskets, um, like very tell angry. Me, about tell me There's a tournament lot when that doesn't happen. Outs. <laughs> yeah. I had a lot of, and I actually want to, I, I want to talk on that real quick. I got, I got something I want to say. If people are going to tell me that 550 foot distance is a skill, learn it. I'm blasting everybody who gets spit outs. Guess what? Touch with a little or putt with a little touch because that is a learned skill. I haven't had one in three years and I might have one moving forward in three years. My disc has not come back to me off the pole. And at this point, luckily the statistics say that I'm a pretty good putter, which means it's not like I'm just airballing everything, which is the first thing I would say to me. If 550 feet is a skill that I have to learn, then learn some touch with your putter because we have to play on those baskets. I, yeah. I'm, right I'm the same way as you, Yuli, because people always talk about like, Oh my gosh, I had so many spit out so many. It's like, I, I, I don't know if I've had like more than two, my entire career. Like there's literally it's been crazy, maybe, man. maybe one or two where I was like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe that didn't go in. Most of the time it doesn't go in. It's like, that was a bad putt. And, and even there's times where I'm like, yeah. that's a 50, like it, it releases out of my hand. I'm like, that's 50, 50. It's either going to catch and drop in the basket or it's going to hit and push out. Like that's just what it is. Now there, there are times when there's a headwind and bad things happen. That should, you're throwing a Frisbee into a headwind that wants to fly mm -hmm. and it has to change. And sometimes they blow out. Uh, I have had spit outs from outside the circle, like 45 feet, but guess what? It's coming in hard. harder. Yeah. Um, it's coming in harder. So you take that risk, but I was talking to somebody about it today and they're like, well, you put like you putting with a pillowcase. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's this, but I mean, I'm just I, hearing, I'm just hearing all these people like, look at the basket. Like, like when Gannon gets a spit out, I'm sorry, but you're throwing it twice as hard as everybody else. It's good because he can take that speed and he can take it to 60 and it's damn near the same putt. But if you decide to tap it in like that, that's what's going to yeah, happen. I like, I like your analogy of saying like, Hey, if I'm putting like a pillow and you're like, well, you're putting like a pillow. That's why it's happening. We can say the same thing to being like, you're throwing it as hard as you can. And they're like, yeah, I'm throwing yeah. it as hard as I can. I'm trying to throw it over 500 feet. And it's like, well, those, it's the same thing, right? Like it's a learned skill. Like you either have to, you know, AB can throw super hard as with really overstable discs and have a much more consistent flight than someone that is throwing 80% and having to flip something up. Right. Like it's a learned skill to throw hard. Right. It's a learned skill to have touch with your, with your putt. So I think both, I think it's, both are, are like, you can't have one and, and the, not have the other. Right. The veteran basket is one of my favorites to put on. Everybody hates it. It catches everything. I feel like for me, it catches high, it catches really high, well. a it catches, lot. On the pole yeah, really it catches well. high a lot. You, you know what I mean? And then, um, the last thing I want to say about it is I, don't like spit outs. I don't want people to get spit outs. I wish they weren't a thing. I really do, but they are. And so there is a way to negate the spit out, <laughs> throw it softer. You know what I mean? I wish we had a device that caught everything. If that's the standard that we move to, then great. I'm all for that. Let's uh, put the, put the hockey light at the top of it. If you hit the middle counts every single time, I'm all for that. But right now it's not the way that it is. So.